Last time I did a video introduction to an application called Vinyan that is a real game changer for 3D VTubers. There was a very good receival of the application. I was honestly very surprised of how interested so big part of the community was of the application. However, the application obviously is quite complex, especially starting it is. So today we're gonna go through a very basic tutorial on how to get Vinian up and running. Hey, hi, it's our friendly neighborhood VTuber Suvi here again with a new tutorial. So today we're gonna look into Vinian and get it running and go through some of the very basic settings of the application. So before you get started with this tutorial, make sure you download Vinian. You can find the download link down in the description as well, and also from the previous video that I did. Anyway, once you have downloaded Vinian and extracted it somewhere on your hard drive, let's get on with the tutorial. Okay, so let's start from a situation where you have just extracted Vinian somewhere on your hard drive. You will see that there are couple of programs here. You see, first of all, the vinion.exe. This is what you would usually use when starting the application. In addition to that, there is vinion underscore GPU priority dot command. This is something you might want to use during streaming if it seems like vinion is lagging, but only if you're using Windows 10. So this will basically start vinion as admin and pass it one parameter that toggles on higher GPU priority. So use this if you are playing a game and you notice Vinian is lagging, while for example, VC phase is not lagging. Okay, so once Vinian has launched, you might want to make it full screen, but that's completely up to you. First time you start the application, it will start the startup wizard. Now in this wizard, you can customize some redeems that will be created for you. In addition to that, you can name the redeem. This should be something you also create in your Twitch dashboard. Here you can select how many items are drawn at your avatar per sub. And here you can create a hydrate redeem. Basically how many seconds will water be splashed at you. So if you want it to be longer than 0.2 seconds, you can increase this value all the way up to 3 seconds. Of course, by editing the node graph later, you will be able to set it to whatever you want. So let's set this value to one second. And now you can just click the add redeems button if you want to add this, or if you want to skip the wizard, you can just click skip wizard. Let's add this for now. If you want to see these redeems, you can just go to the settings and redeem settings, and then click on the defaults. This will show the created default chart. Now, first thing when you load to Vinyan is to load in your avatar. To do that, simply click on the load avatar button. So once you've loaded your avatar, you will notice probably that it is facing the wrong way. To simply fix this, you can click Alt and then drag with your mouse to rotate your avatar the way you want. Then you can keep Alt pressed and use the right mouse button and then drag mouse around to do zoom. Now, if you were to keep the middle mouse button pressed, you could drag the avatar around while also keeping the alt pressed. So this allows you to place your avatar wherever you would want it to be in your stream. The next step is to connect the VMC tracking. To get started with this, open the settings and go to general settings. And here you will see the VMC receiving port. You can either change this or keep it at as it is. The next step is to configure your VMC sending. So let's say you have VC phase open. Go to the settings and then general settings. And scroll all the way down until you find the send data with OSC slash VMC protocol. Now in this field, you need to enter the same port number that you have in Vinian. So if you use the 3333, just enter that there. And if everything is configured correctly, you should see your avatar move in Vinyan. Okay, so now you have your avatar moving. The next step would be probably to send the data to OBS. 
to do that, you can either game capture Vinian's window or you can use the spout too. Okay, if you had to rotate your avatar to face this correct direction, what you will also want to do is set the default camera position. So make sure the default camera is selected and then click the set position when your avatar is in a position where you want it to be, like so. Now, next time we launch Vinian, your avatar will be facing the correct way. Now, other things you may need to set are the colliders. So click on the colliders and you can show the colliders. Now, in some cases, the head size may be too small already. So just make that bigger and you will start to see the actual collider sphere. Same for the torso. Make it whatever size you want and then just adjust the offsets so that they'll cover your head and a little bit more and the torso as well, like so. Now you can then hide it and then show the mod collider and repeat the same thing. You can also configure the food spawn offsets here. To test that out, you would need to spawn a food in your hand and then use the offsets after that. Other things to do at the startup are of course to configure the lights. If you are unhappy how the default lights look, you can change the values here. In addition to that, you could utilize a display light thingy. This basically allows you to select a monitor and then the average light from the monitor will be added to the ambient light value. Now you're basically ready to start using Vinyan for streaming. So maybe next we'll look into the node graph a little bit. So when you open the node graph, you will see, first of all, at the top, you'll see buttons to add a new graph and delete a graph. At the lower corner, you will see the small gray dot. By dragging from that, you can make the window smaller or bigger. Other important buttons here are obviously this tab where you will be able to swap the active graph. So if you click add new graph, it adds it here and you can swap between these tabs like so. Now at the bottom of the window, you will see a small text box where you can give a name to the graph and rename will rename it as you can see. Other things here are load and export. The load button allows you to load in an existing graph. For example, if you get one from our Discord or you want to load in one of Vinian's example files. Export button allows you to export the selected graph into a JSON file. This allows you to create charts and share them with anyone else. Or you can just make backups using that. Now on the left side, you will see the nodes. They're split into three categories. We have callback nodes. Then we have action nodes and conditional nodes. Action nodes trigger something like channel points, for example, are triggered by Twitch channel point 3D. Actions are the end point of the chain, so they always do something. This could be playing a sound, throwing items, setting parameters, starting timers, or whatever. Conditional nodes, on the other hand, are something you place between the callbacks and the actions. This could, this could be a randomizer, for example, if you wanted one redeem to do two different things, you could use a randomized node. Now, how to use the node chart? You simply spawn in a graph and then you start dragging from the yellow slot to the green slot, like so. Now, if you connect something by accident, you can right click on this green slot to clear the path. So it clears the whole slot. You can also right click on the yellow one. Another thing you can do is right click on a node. This gives you a context dialog depending on what node you click. If you click an action node, you can either duplicate it or delete it. If you click on a callback node, you can send a signal which basically triggers this so you can use it for testing. Now this mostly covers the very basics of the system. We will get into more detailed node graph tutorials in the coming weeks. One more thing about Vinyan is the props system. This allows you to load in props, either 2D graphics or props created in 
Vinian SDK. Now the same applies to the throwables and droppables. You can create custom items in Vinian SDK. And also you can create worlds. To add a prop, you simply click add prop and then you pick the file that you want to add. This could be an image file or it could be a Vinian prop item. Now we added a PNG image. Now you can select which bone it is bound to. After that, you can position the object wherever you want it and then you can scale it. Its axis can be scaled individually. So that pretty much covers the basics of Vinian. Next time we'll go into more advanced topics such as how to add custom items for your setup. But in the meantime, if you require help with any more advanced topics, please join the Discord. There's a big forum already with a lot of people discussing Vinian and contributing assets and node graphs for it. So definitely worthwhile to check it out. If you want to stay up to date with my tutorials as well, make sure to subscribe and smash the bell button to get a notification when I release a new tutorial. Anyway, see you next time, cuties. Bye bye!